ओम शांति मॉर्निंग मुरली नाइनटीन्थ जून अव्यक्त महावाक्य ऑफ अव्यक्त बाप दादा मधुबन रिवाइज कोर्स सिक्स अप्रैल 1991 मुरली साइन ऑफ द कर्मातीत स्टेज साइन ऑफ द कर्मातीत स्टेज बाबा सिंह Are you continuing to come close to the karma this stage? Actions are increasing, but to be karma this means, but to be karma this means to be beyond the effect of any bondage of action. Let this experience continue to increase. Let there be detachment. Just as I, the soul, performed actions through this body, and then became detached from it, so don't be affected by any task. Don't be affected by any task. Whatever the result is of any act you carry out, let there be detachment in attaining the fruit of that task. The fruit of action means. not to be affected by whatever is the result but just to continue to experience absolute detachment let it be as though someone else made you do it and you just did it someone made you do it and you were just the instrument however you have to be detached even about being an instrument however you have to be detached even about being an instrument do you feel that your karma teeth stage is increasing in this way do you feel the stages of the maharathis are clearly continuing to be different and loving compared with those of others are they not Just as Father Brahma was very clear, in the same way the instrument souls in corporeal forms are also becoming. Corporeal form, instrument souls in corporeal forms are also becoming clear with their corporeal forms. Number wise, karma tith means, karma tith means, loving and detached. others perform actions and you also perform actions but your way of performing those action is different there is a difference in the stage whatever happens you just become detached from that you perform actions and after performing those actions you feel as though you did not do anything the one who inspired you made you do it you will continue to experience such a stage you will feel lightness while performing actions there is lightness in the body and lightness in the stage of your mind and the result of actions does not pull your mind baba is saying while performing action there is lightness in the body lightness in the stage of your mind and result of actions does not pull your mind do you have such a stage the more the task continues to increase the more your lightness will also increase actions will not pull you to themselves but you will carry them out as though the master is inspiring the actions to take place and the instrument is carrying them out as an instrument the sign of lightness in the soul is that the special powers of the soul means the mind intellect and sanskars will also continue to become light in the same way your thoughts will give you the experience of a stage of complete lightness the decision making power of the intellect will also work as though it has not done anything 
एंड नो संस्कार विल अट्रैक्ट यू नो संस्कार विल अट्रैक्ट यू इट विल बी एज दो द फादर संस्कार आर वर्किंग यू विल एक्सपीरियंस लाइटनेस इन ऑल थ्री सप्टल पावर्स द माइंड इंटेलेक्ट एंड द संस्कार इट विल ऑटोमेटिकली इमर्ज फ्रॉम एवरी वंस हर्ट एंड लिप्स एज इज द फादर सो आर द चिल्ड्रन लविंग एंड डिटैच बिकॉज अकॉर्डिंग टू द टाइम द एटमोसफियर आउटसाइड विल कंटिन्यू टू बिकम हैवियर डे बाय डे द हैवियर द एटमोसफियर आउटसाइड बिकम्स द लाइटर द थॉट्स एक्शंस एंड रिलेशनशिप्स ऑफ द स्पेशली बिलव चिल्ड्रन विल कंटिन्यू टू बिकम because of this lightness all your activities will continue in a very light way because that atmosphere is tamo pradhan others will experience heaviness in many different ways there will be heaviness in the nature and heaviness in the attitudes of human soul for this too your lightness will make others light acha everything is going well is it not you are not affected by the activities but you are able to create an impact on the activities whatever you do or hear the stage of your lightness creates an impact on the task any fluctuation in the activities does not affect you an unshakable stage also makes the task unshakable a task that is impossible in every way is easily becoming possible and will continue to do so a task that is impossible in every way is easily becoming possible and will continue to do so acha in order to be seated on the heart throne and the throne of the world give happiness and receive happiness in order to be seated on the heart throne and the throne of the world give happiness and receive happiness today the master of the world is seeing his children who are the children balak and the masters malik all the children are at present masters of themselves and in other births too they will become masters of the world godly children become the masters brahman souls means souls who are masters at present you are the master of all your sense organs you are not souls who are dependent you are the one who have a la- right that is to say you are the masters you are the ones who have a right that is to say you are the masters you are not under the influence of your physical organs this is why you are the children who are the masters you experience the godly intoxication of being a child and you also experience the intoxication of being a self servant you have double intoxication you have double intoxication the sign of intoxication is imperishable spiritual happiness do you constantly experience yourself to be the souls out of the whole world who have the fortune of happiness wow my elevated fortune that is my elevated luck you have the fortune of happiness and you constantly eat the nourishment of happiness and serve it to others as well along with that you always swing in the sing of happiness you give others the great donation of happiness and create their fortune of happiness in the same way have you made your life as valuable as a diamond or are you still making it that have you already made it that or is it still being made that now brahman life means to stay in happiness brahman life means to stay in happiness to eat the nourishment of happiness and to stay in the swing of happiness you are such brahmans are you not 
what is there in life apart from happiness your life itself is a happiness if you don't have happiness you don't have a brahman life to remain happy is to live a life with worth living to remain happy is to live a life worth living today bab dada was seeing the account of charity of all the children because all of you are charitable souls you are accumulating accounts of charity for innumerable births how much charity did you accumulate throughout the whole day you can check this for yourself can you not one is to give a donation and other is to perform charity charity has greater importance than a donation an act of charity is an act of altruistic service an act of charity is not showy but it is done from your heart a donation can either be showy or from your heart an act of charity is an act in which you become cooperative with souls at their time of need that is you are useful to them a soul who performs charitable actions receive blessings from the heart of many souls they don't just say thanks with their lips but the attainments of blessing in their hearts are accumulated in an incognito way A charitable soul overflows with the instant fruit he receives from God's blessing and blessing from souls. The vision and attitude of a charitable soul give others the experience of blessings. The sparkle of satisfaction and contentment is constantly visible on the face of a charitable soul because the fruit he has claimed. A charitable soul is constantly beyond having arrogance. or feeling insulted because that soul is an emperor who is overflowing that soul is an emperor who is overflowing he is a carefree emperor beyond having arrogance or feeling insulted a charitable soul uses the power of his charity in his every thought at every moment of upheaval and in every action in a worthwhile way the sign of the account of charity accumulating is that waste finishes the sign of the account of charity accumulating is that waste finishes such a charitable soul claims a throne of the kingdom of the world so check your account to what extent have i become such a charitable soul if you are asked are you all charitable souls all of you would reply han ji would you not all of you are charitable souls but number wise are or or are all of you number 1 number wise or are all of you number 1 you are number wise are you not how many will sit on the throne in the golden and silver ages will all of you sit on it together so all of you are number wise are you not why is the number created what is the reason bab dada specially checked one special aspect of the children that is that one thing becomes an obstacle to your becoming number 1 that one thing becomes an obstacle to your becoming number 1 now during the year of tapasya does everyone have the aim of becoming complete or of becoming number wise what is your aim you want to become complete do you not all of you speak one slogan and you also write it and display it that slogan is give happiness and take happiness don't cast sorrow and don't take sorrow this slogan is fun so what was the result that baba sa the majority pays attention to not causing sorrow however only half the slogan is okay in terms of causing you think that you should not cause sorrow but when it comes to taking you say that one caused me sorrow and that is why this happened 
that one said this this one did that and that is why this happened you make a judgment in this way do you not you become your own lawyer and present your case with these things so you pay attention well to half the slogan you should underline it even more at least there is attention paid to half the slogan however the attention paid to the other half of the slogan is in name only that man cause sorrow but why did you take it why did you take it who told you to take it is it the father's shrimat to take sorrow or to fill your apron with sorrow is it father's shrimat so don't cause sorrow and don't take sorrow only then will you become a charitable soul only then will you become a tapasvi soul to become a tapasvi means to have transformation to become a tapasvi means to have transformation therefore take any sorrow they cause you in the form of happiness bring about transformation only then will you be called a tapasvi consider defamation to be praise you will then be called a charitable soul mother jagdamba constantly made this lesson fun for all the children see the souls who insult you or cause you sorrow with the vision of being an embodiment of mercy don't see them with the vision of defamation they may insult you but you must offer them flowers you will then be called a charitable soul embrace those who insult you with your heart don't embrace them superficially but with your heart with your mind so this is the accept that becomes an obstacle in your being able to accumulate your account of charity it must not cause sorrow i must not cause sorrow i must not cause it but i must not take it either since it is not anything good why do you take that rubbish and accumulate it when you take sorrow you accumulate rubbish what will emerge from the rubbish what will emerge from the rubbish germs in the form of traces of sin you don't commit big sins traces of sin now remain but there should not be even a trace many children say very sweet things to baba what says everyone has a heart to heart conversation and says very sweet things one slogan has become fun for everyone we did not want it to happen but it happened if you did not want it to happen who else wanted it to happen that you stay it happened is there any other soul it should not happen but it happens who is saying this is some other soul saying this or are you saying it you will not prove your tapasya through these things whatever should not happen whatever should not be done for that not to happen or be done is a sign of charitable soul bab dada receives such stories from many children every day when they speak they tell a story in such an interesting way that one keeps listening some of you have a habit of creating long stories and others tell short stories but you tell many stories today it is the last dip of the seers meeting all of you have come for a dip have you not on the path of devotion to when they take a last dip they definitely have one thought or another they either sacrifice something or they have some selfish motive they have both types of thoughts during the year of tapasya have the thoughts throughout the day with my thoughts with my words and with my deeds 
I will be a charitable soul and perform charity. You were just told about a sign of charity. The instant fruit of charity is that blessings are received from every soul and charity is accumulated in every thought. Blessings are accumulated through your words and thanks from everyone's heart should emerge for your cooperation in your relationship and connection. Blessings are accumulated through your words and thanks from everyone's heart should emerge for your cooperation in your relationship and connection. This is called tapasya. Such tapasya will become the basis for word transformation. You will receive a prize with such a result. So then don't tell any stories about what happened. Actually all the teachers should claim the first prize. Along with them, the Madhuban residents should also claim it. Why is that? The wave of Madhuban and the wave of instrument teachers easily reach those in households and godly students. So all of you will claim a number ahead of it anyway. It will now be seen whose names come up for the prize. Will it be the names of the teachers? of the Madhuban residents or of the godly students. Double foreigners too are making intense effort. Bhav Dada has many prizes. Whoever wishes to claim them can do so. Whoever wishes to claim them can do so. There is no lack of prizes. The treasure store is full. Achha. All of you have come to this gathering. Did you enjoy it? Did you enjoy it? Or was there some difficulty? The rain welcomed you. For nature also has love for you. You did not get frightened. Did you? You have received good Brahma Bhojan. Have you not? You have been pushed around for 63 births. And you have now found the destination. You at least have three square feet of land. Such a hug hall has been built. And so you increase the beauty of the hall. The hall is being used in a worthwhile way. There was not any difficulty was there. However, this does not mean that you keep holding gathering like this. This does not mean that you keep holding gatherings like this. The facilities also have to come with the creation. Acha, today all the elevated souls who are children and so master, to the charitable souls who constantly accumulate charity with every step, to the special souls who are constantly seated on the hard throne and have a right to the throne of the world, to the souls who are master oceans of happiness and constantly give happiness and take happiness. To the children who are master bestowers and who remain constantly happy giving happiness to everyone. Bab Dada's love, remembrance and namaste. And we spiritual children says good morning, namaste to our sweetest spiritual father Bab Dada. Now Bab Dada is speaking to the Dadis. Bab Dada saw that all the Maharathis did very good service from their hearts of making everyone powerful. And so there is no need for Baba to thank you for you have accumulated a lot in your accounts. You have accumulated very big accounts. Bab Dada is more than multi-million times pleased to see the courage Jeel and enthusiasm of the Mahavir children. You maintained courage and the gathering remained constantly tied with the thread of love and there was therefore success. The gathering is strong, is it not? The small rosary is strong. The bracelet is ready. The rosary is not ready. But the bracelet is ready, is it not? This is why even a small rosary is worshipped. 
the big one is still being prepared that will also be prepared it has to be prepared you were told that some of the beads are ready for the big rosary there is a small margin for making the beads come together there is a small margin for making the beads come together the small garland is being prepared very well because of this garland there is easy success and success is always garland around the necks of the beads of the garland a tilak of victory is applied bab dada is pleased multi million times congratulations bab dada is pleased multi million times congratulations you are the instruments the father is karavan har the one who inspires who are the ones who do it you are the ones who are the instrument who do it the father is the backbone this is why it is very good you have fulfilled the responsibility of love and sustenance is very well ach today's blessing feel baba's hand on your head and take blessing may you become an embodiment of success by receiving good fruit from the seeds of good thoughts may you become an embodiment of success by receiving good fruit from the seeds of good thoughts for souls who are embodiments of success their every thought for themselves and others would be fruitful they receive success from every act they do the words they speak become practical and this is why they are called true versions they are called true versions every thought word and action of souls who are embodiments of success will bring them success they will not be wasteful if a seed of thought is very good but the fruit that emerges from it is not good then the land of determined dharna is not good or something is lacking in their playing attention to it baba is saying if a seed of thought is very good but the fruit that emerges from it is not good then the land of determined dharna is not good or something is lacking in their paying attention to it slogan if you want to be freed from the waves of sorrow perform every action as a karam yogi if you want to be freed from the waves of sorrow perform every action as a karam yogi om shanti notice today is the third sunday word meditation hour and all raj yogi tapasvi brothers and sisters sit for special meditation from 6:30 to 7:30 pm especially at the time of having yoga be stable in your subtle angelic form and while touring around the world do the service of giving light and might to all souls and to matters om shanti thank you baba tata